<laughs> Detective, what did I do for you to grace me with your presence this fine evening? If you're looking for a den of vice and criminality, I'm afraid you've come to the wrong place. I run a respectable establishment here. Why, my club is two steps shy of a choir hall. <laughs> Unless you just missed me. Perhaps you longed for my presence and couldn't help but find yourself back at my door again <laughs> oh. well I don't think seeking me out of all people is quite professional my dear you know what I am and you know what I do you've made that clear to me before Yet, here you are, yet again. It causes me to wonder if you truly detest me as much as you say you do. Perhaps my little lamb is in two minds about what they really want. I didn't mean to dredge up old memories of happier times. You're here for work. That's what you do. You work. You solve crimes. It's all you bloody do. <laughs> and now, one of those crimes has brought you back to me. <sighs> so tell me little lamb. What do you want from me? You know, I... I never could say no to you. Oh, grisly business, that. I can't tell if evil like this is a reflection of the people we've become, or the times we live in. I can't tell when. But it feels like the world went mad some time ago. And no one seemed to notice. We sleepwalked into a nightmare. And now people like you seem to be the only ones who actually care enough to want to wake up. <laughs> I always did like that about you. You cared about things. Honestly, I liked a lot of things about you. I still do, despite it all. But a killer roaming the streets is bad for business. My club. You're saying this maniac has been using my club as his hunting ground? How dare he? I thought the scum of this city knew better than to bring their detritus to my door. This place is mine, my home, my kingdom. I shall not have it defiled by some maniac intent upon slaughter for slaughter's sake. This affront cannot go unpunished. This requires a message. Something to remind the human wreckage of this city why they are afraid to begin with. Yes, my dear, yes. You're right. Now is not the time for anger. You always knew just how to bring me to heal. Tell me what you need to see justice done, my little lamb, and you shall have it. Anything. Anything. Of course, I keep a tab on all 
of my regulars. It never hurts to know more about those who frequent your home. If you want their addresses, their names, you shall have them. Right. Do you believe one of these names are the killer? Or something more? Oh, darling. You're holding things back from me. But, then again, should I have expected anything else? <laughs> well, that settles it. I'm coming with you. What do you mean, no? I'm coming with you. Besides, I have the address ledger. And I will not be cut out of this. Besides, there's a madman about, and I'm not about to let you wander off alone. I still care. Say what you will about me, but I still damn well care. And the last thing I want, the last thing I could ever want, to see you hurt. You and I still have unfinished business. <clears throat> and I have a personal stake in this now. So, let's see justice done. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to let this wretch pollute the air we breathe for a second longer than necessary. <laughs> well, what are you just standing there for, detective? I thought you wanted to catch this man. If you leave me to hunt him down by myself, there won't be enough left for you to put on trial. There we go, my little lamb. Hop to it. The two of us together again. It's just like old times. Though something tells me, this will be a night to remember.